Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm going over my top 5 picks for books in cybersecurity. <laughs> So this is probably one of the most requested videos I've ever had and the reason it took me so long is because I'm really slow at reading. These books, I got all of them off uh, Amazon, I was using a Kindle which is here somewhere. I, I would put links in the description to each of them but affiliate through Amazon isn't my thing. So I'll just put the book names and you can go search them yourself. These books aren't in any particular order, I think they're all great. And that's why they're in the, the top five overall. You guys can pick which one is the best out of these. Up to you. I just like these five books. It's also worth saying that um, my working history is mostly in defensive security. It turns out I like to read more offensive security books, probably because they're a little bit more exciting than the, the whole t blue team environment most of the time. So that's sort of where these books are aimed at. But anyway, let's get into the list. The first book on the list is Hacking the Art of Exploitation by Kevin Mitnick. Now, I'm pretty sure this one is probably one of the most popular uh, cybersecurity books out there, and um, it's there for a reason. It's a great book. It's uh, it's captivating. It keeps you, you know, pulled in. You really enjoy it. Every every page is something new, and it's yeah, it's just a great book to to read. So, Hacking the Art of exploitation is number one. The second book on the list is also by Kevin Mitnick and um, I actually bought these in a bundle which is probably why I've got both of them but they are really good books. The name of the book is The Art of Deception uh, Controlling the Human Element of Security and um, this one's more about like social engineering type stuff and it's um, it's just interesting to learn how you can really mess with someone's mind basically and this book sort of dives really deeply into that concept and it's it's pretty thrilling actually it's it's good and um, it makes you feel a little bit um, insecure about society to be honest what well, did for me anyway but um, yeah it's it's a great book so definitely worth a read the third book on the list is countdown to zero day uh, and the extended bit is Stuxnet and the launch of the world's first digital weapon and this is by uh, Kim Zetter and um, yeah, this one is pretty much all around the Stuxnet story. And I actually heard about this book from Darknet Diaries, um, which is a really good podcast if you guys want to listen to. Have a look at Darknet Diaries. But um, yeah, I heard about this book through there and I, I then bought it after that. This was, it was a few years ago when I read this one actually, but it is a very good book. The story of Stuxnet is so interesting. And if you haven't listened to Darknet Diaries, at least go and have a look at the Stuxnet story because it, it's just one of the best ones on there. And um, yeah, listen to that, then have a read of the this book, The Countdown to Zero Day. You'll just be blown away. It's just such a good story. Number four on the list is Secrets and Lies, Digital Security in a Networked World by Bruce Schneier. This one's, um, it's almost like a spy story, to be honest. It's, it's like reading something out of you know, James Bond or, or something like that. It's it's just a good book on different security concepts based around networking. And um, networking is sort of my my thing. I really like networking. I've always liked networking. I've, I've done it for a pretty long time. So this book sort of focuses on um, like a connected world and sort of how easy it is to OSINT someone based on their connectivity and then also goes into um, like IoT type situations. So it's it's pretty good. Secrets and Lies, Digital Security in a Network World by Bruce Schneier. The last book on the list is Dark Territory, The Secret History of Cyber War by Fred Kaplan. And um, this one I felt was maybe more of a novel than the other ones, but um, it, it was still an interesting story and it, it sort of got me pumped. To get in and like I said at the start I work in a mostly defensive security or blue team type position so these sort of offensive security stories really do help to get me excited about the the job that I'm doing and the environments that I'm protecting this one here about the secret history of cyber war is really good in the way that it sort of explains like the whole uh, I guess like Snowden story so if you've never seen the Snowden movie, that's also worth watching if you want to get into privacy and security and 
you know, risk and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just, um, it's just something interesting to sort of bring you back to reality. So sometimes when people hear that you're doing cybersecurity, sometimes they either think that you're just like this wicked nerd or you're on the other side where you're like an elite hacker pro or something like that, right? Which is usually not the case. It's usually that you go into an office and you follow a set of tasks to do a job. And um, yeah, these books sort of narrate that story in a more exciting way than what is actually happening. That's probably why I picked these books, to be honest. They're, um, they're just exciting books. They're good reads. Um, they're full of great information. And um, it's, it's a good mix of sort of stories and actual like life experience and I find the realism of it really alluring. Anyway, that's my top five. I'd love to know what you guys think of this list and uh, if you have any other book recommendations that you think should have been on this list or you know, what your top five uh, favorite cybersecurity books are. I'd love to hear and um, I'd love for you to share for everyone else to be able to see as well because it's not just my opinion that matters, it's everyone's opinion as a collective on which books are the best, so drop it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.